Shalom Uvracha, everyone. Right behind me, as you could see, <laughs> that white building behind me is the resting place of one of our favorite, favorite Sadiqim, I believe, Yitzchak of Berdichev. Here, we're in Berdichev in the ancient cemetery here. Just imagine how many tears were shed in this cemetery. get the chills every time, deep chills every time we come here. Being here is very, very special. Kind of hard to share in words. But since we are here and I can't go inside, I'm a coin, um, I'm usually able to figure out a way to get in in a closed car. But today it's not happening, so I'm here with you over here. And I started thinking to myself, what today, what, without pressuring myself, feeling like I really understand who Rebbe Yitzchak was, because I have no idea. <clears throat> but if I stop and think about his titles, his teachings, his message, what's a theme that keeps on coming up in Rebbe Yitzchak's Torahs? So it's actually interesting, it's a it's choice of language. In uh, many, many of the teachings that you find in the Gdusha Slevi, the Rebbe always says, "Dehine yeshnei minei tzadikim," or he'll say, "Yeshnei darche avoda," or "Yeshnei minei whatever," which means, "Behold, there are there are two types of tzadikim. There are two types of serving Hashem. Two types of ways. There are two types." It keeps on going with this concept of "shtei drachim," and um, it hit me so deep that the Berdichev is basically telling us. Every time he starts a Torah like that, it's not, it's not telling us which one of those tzaddikim we are or aren't. What type of Avodah Hashem we are engaged in or aren't. But he's always let us, letting us know that as long as you're alive and reading these words, the choice is yours right now. Which type of tzaddik do you want to be? Do you want to be the tzaddik that can't sleep at night because there's still some Jews suffering? Or do you want to be the type of tzaddik who wants to let people know that he can't sleep at night? Do you want to serve Hashem because you know in your heart of hearts that Emuna is, I know good things will come to me by being an Eved Hashem, by being a servant of God? Or is your concept of being a servant of God so, so much more elated, so much infinitely deeper than those kind of concepts? I believe it's like saying, sweet Yidla, no matter what you thought of yourself a second ago, Right now the choice is yours, this second. Don't let yesterday be your slave driver. Right now the choice is yours. And I believe it's like I feel, I feel that he's saying, I see that you're having a hard time choosing who you think you could be. Let me make that choice for you. Let me let you, let me let, just let you know uh, what I see in you. I see that you not only can be that higher level of a tzaddik, but you already are. And I believe Yitzchak's davening in Shemaim like he was doing his whole life and continues to now. Praying that a glimpse of who we really are is available to us. And we're exposed to that. And that we fall in love with that part of ourselves that the Berdichever saw in every single person that he met. So they called the Rebbe Yitzchak ben Sarasasha. Aneni, aneni, aneinu, all of us, all over the world.